$200 in Oklahoma. Find out what I'm talking about right after this. Welcome back to Pit Rider TV. Yes. $200 I left behind at the skill house in Oklahoma. You've seen all my other videos, or not all of them, but there's a couple other videos I have about that scale house on 40 in Oklahoma. This sends you cross over from Arkansas. You know, they weighed me there when I was bobtailing when I was empty or light or whatever. This guy else that does not believe in bypass lanes. Big old brand new scale house. A lot of overhead, I imagine. So, I loaded in Utah, Alabama uh, Saturday. It's Sunday night. Preloaded trailer. Yeah, the bill said it was 43,000. Yeah, I knew it was heavy. I sure did. But coming out of Utah, Alabama, the closest scale was the Loves there in Mississippi, right across the line. But right there at the state line of Alabama, Mississippi, is the scale house. So, of course, it was open. Pulled in there, got the bypass lane. Alright, so I'm good to go. You know, when I picked up the load, the tandems are all the way back. So I slid them, slid the tandems to where I thought would be pretty good. So going through that first scale there at the Mississippi Alabama line, and they gave me the green light, I said, Well, I'm good. I said, well, I'm not even going to worry about scaling it out then. At a cat scale, a truck stop, saved me $11. I know it's good. I've done this a few times, so. Didn't feel heavy, didn't feel out of place. Felt good for being so heavy. I'll come up to, you know, Memphis, Tennessee. Arkansas, all those scale houses are closed on the weekend. So I get up to the one in Oklahoma and I started thinking. I said, uh, I forgot all about this Oklahoma scale, my favorite scale house. I'm pretty sure they're going to be open. Maybe I should have gone to the cat scale. Then I was thinking, well, the other scale. Gave me the bypass, so I must have been alright on my way. So I pull up on the Oklahoma scale. They had me sitting there a couple minutes. I started getting nervous. Of course, that's nothing new. They had me sitting up there for a couple minutes when I was empty. Next thing I know, a booming voice comes over with a loudspeaker. Pull the round back and bring all your paperwork. I said, oh no. Uh oh. So I go inside, that's it, 12, 1260 pounds over on your trailer. That'll be $200 and you have to pay before you leave. I said, $200? He said, yep. But I can't take any debit cards because our system is down. I said, you take comp check? He said, I sure will. I said, well. That's it. They're real nice, real professional. Um, we did all that. He gave me my little ticket here. Um, it's already taken care of, so I don't have to worry about going to court. No CSA points, no points on my driver's license or anything like that. Just a, a $200 lesson that I learned, well actually, I've learned that lesson a couple times before, but no, it's all on me. I should have known better, even when that first deal house gave me the bypass, 
I should have went ahead and scaled out at a cat scale anyway. Spend the eleven dollars just to make sure all the axles were legal. I wasn't over on my gross weight, but I think the gross weight was only like uh, seventy-four thousand or something. But it was twelve thousand, twelve hundred and sixty pounds over on the trailer, and I could have slid it back, got it legal. But he said, "Don't worry about it. Just go on." We're going to Pryor, Oklahoma. There's no more scales between here and there, so don't worry about it. Just go. Yes, sir. I'm out of here. So I said, we're at tonight. We're at Pryor, Oklahoma, up the street from where we got to deliver in the morning. And uh, let this be a lesson. If it's don't get, if nothing comes out of this, at least heed my warning and spend the eleven dollars for a scale ticket I should have I, I, I know better and it was a two hundred dollar mistake out of my account that will never happen again the only way that will happen again is if I don't have a chance to hit a cat scale before I hit a state scale. So that's it. Um, on a side note here, I'm at the parked in front of the creepy abandoned truck wash. We're up here in the car in the corner. There will be a video there I did a couple years ago with my little ghost hunt or tour or whatever of the creepy abandoned truck wars. So go check that out. Be sure to check out all my other videos. Also, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon that we'll be notified every time a video is uploaded. So everybody have a good day. Scale your load out and stay safe.